Here at HITC7s, we pride ourselves on listening to what our subscribers say and taking on board their suggestions. Well, sometimes anyway. And there's one request that we've had more than any other. Yep, it's you, the Irish. You wouldn't let it go, so here it is. We ummed and awed about whether to make separate videos for the greatest players to have represented Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland, but in the end we've combined the two. Oh yeah, and no politics or religion in the comments please. Here are our seven greatest Irish footballers of all time. Johnny Giles. Just sneaking in ahead of the likes of Jimmy McElroy and Harry Gregg is Leeds United legend Johnny Giles. One of the heroes of the fine Leeds United team assembled by Don Revy during the late 1960s and early 1970s, Giles spent 12 years at Ellen Road, having joined the Yorkshire outfit from rivals Manchester United. A clever and combative central midfielder, Giles had wonderful technique, a fine range of passing and a thunderous right-footed shot. He has the 9th most appearances and 6th most goals in Leeds history. With the Republic of Ireland, Giles won 59 caps, but the country failed to qualify for a World Cup or European Championships during that time. Dennis Irwin When asked to select an all-time 11 from his incredible managerial career, Sir Alex Ferguson described it as an impossible task, but did say Dennis Irwin would be the only certainty to get in the team. From a manager who coached the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo, Ryan Giggs and Paul Scholes, that is some praise. Irwin spent 12 years with Manchester United, where he won 19 trophies, making him the joint most successful Irish footballer of all time. A right-footed fullback, Irwin spent most of his career at left-back, where he was one of the Premier League's most consistent performers. He won 56 caps for the Republic of Ireland, representing his country at the 1994 World Cup, where they got out of the group, but were beaten in the first knockout round by the Netherlands. Liam Brady into the top 5 and it's an all-Republic of Ireland affair so far, with Liam Brady taking 5th place in this top 7. A seriously classy attacking midfielder, Brady was a creative force who combined a silky technique with an impressive work rate. The Dublin-born playmaker starred in the 1st Division for Arsenal, and in Serie A with Juventus, Sampdoria and Inter Milan. With the Republic of Ireland, he won 72 caps, famously scoring in a 1-0 win against Brazil in 1987. Despite his lengthy international career, Brady never represented Ireland in a major tournament, carrying both injury and a suspension prior to Euro 88, and being shunned by Jack Charlton for his 1990 World Cup squad. Danny Blanchflower A midfield genius and Tottenham's captain fantastic for their finest hour, Danny Blanchflower is without doubt one of the finest Irish footballers to have ever lived. The Belfast-born boy began his career at Glen Torren, before moving to England, firstly with Barnsley and then with Aston Villa. Eventually he signed for Tottenham in 1954, and he would call White Hart Lane home for the next 10 years. During that time, Blanchflower guided Spurs to a league title, two FA Cups, and the first European honour won by a British club. A tremendous team player who believed firmly that the game should be played in the right way, Blanchflower won 56 caps for Northern Ireland. He captained his country to the quarter-finals of the 1958 World Cup, their best ever performance at a major finals, and later managed Northern Ireland for three years, from 1976 to 1979. Roy Keane Just edging out Blanchflower to kick off the top three of our seven is a vastly underrated footballer, Roy Keane. We say footballer as Keane has earned a lot of recognition for his leadership skills, his drive and his overall importance to Manchester United over a trophy-laden 12-year spell for the club, but his actual ability as a footballer seems to be overlooked today. Keane was a fine player, a robust central midfielder with a well-rounded game he could break up play, had good technique, and was an excellent passer of the ball. Born in Cork, Keane made his name under Brian Clough at Nottingham Forest, before making a move to Manchester United following Forest's relegation. They may have a fractured relationship now, but for a long time, he was Sir Alex Ferguson's most important player at Old Trafford, and they won 17 trophies in his 12 years at the club. With the Republic of Ireland, Keane had an eventful and infamous 14 years. He won 67 caps in total, being named Ireland's best player at the 1994 World Cup, but fell out with manager Mick McCarthy and left Ireland's squad at the 2002 edition of the tournament. Pat Jennings Our choice as the second greatest Irish footballer of all time is former Tottenham and Arsenal goalkeeper Pat Jennings. Jennings was recently an honourable mention in our list of the seven greatest goalkeepers to have ever lived, but he's a sure inclusion here. A rare individual who can walk out onto the field at either of North London's two famed sides to rapturous applause, he is both Spurs and Arsenal's greatest ever goalkeeper. Jennings won six trophies as a player, and is the only goalkeeper other than Peter Shilton to have been named PFA Player of the Year, 
With Northern Ireland, Jennings won 119 caps, a world record at the time of his retirement and still a Northern Irish record. George Best Possibly the most predictable winner of a seven that we've ever done, asking who is the greatest Irish footballer of all time is a bit like asking who is the tallest Stoke City centre forward at the moment. The answer is obvious. George Best is one of the most naturally gifted players to have ever graced a football pitch. The only Northern Irishman to make our top seven British footballers of all time, Best was one of the finest dribblers the game has ever seen, a footballing showman and a prolific scorer from wide areas. By the age of 22, Best had already won the First Division, the European Cup and the Ballon d'Or. He had a less distinguished career with Northern Ireland, with just nine goals from 37 caps. The only major finals Northern Ireland reached during his career was the 1982 World Cup, by which time Best was 36 and playing his club football in Hong Kong. The man they called the fifth Beatle was a proponent of a United Irish team. So that's it for our top seven. Honourable mentions go to the likes of Robbie Keane, Paul McGrath, Peter McParland, Harry Gregg, Jimmy McRoy and more. Thanks for watching, give us a like if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe to HITC7s.